This video is brought to you by EA Game Changes. Aww, thanks EA. Also let you know that this software is not final and subject to change. Hey guys, it's the missus here. And it's Dr. Glow on, and we're building together in together. this video. Right, so basically, do you want to like let people know like what this is all about, like what we're doing here? So I have been very much into a show right now that I'm watching like, oh, probably like twice a day since I'm on summer break called Escape to the Country. And in this show, it's like they take um, people who are looking to find new property. In and England. They, in England, yeah, in yeah. the English countryside. So like they don't want to be living in the city anymore and they want to move to the countryside and they take them and they show them like these three very like older looking cottagey type of homes and it's very much very much suited to this pack yeah so, and you also have wanted to live you want to move to england oh yeah buy. like big time like and this has only made it like even more so i'm already like starting to look into like places that can help us and this is before they even place. announced the pack by the way she's right? been like really into like cottage stuff and like oh my gosh yeah it's so, been like crazy so yeah they announced this pack and then so, we were so like, i was like oh my gosh we gotta make my dream cottage now this is my dream cottage that we're making as if i'm like it's just me and the husband it's just you and point. i've like left and uh <laughs> or maybe died maybe fell in the alligator pond no. maybe no, he he gets to move with me. I said you could have a desk in my oh, study Okay, that's area. sweet. Okay, I take a desk. But this is like um uh I also didn't want to make a super huge house because I wanted it to be kind of just cutesy and cottagey. So it's not as big as like all the the rooms kids for the were, kids. The kids are in college. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they're yeah. in they they've lived with us and they're now in uh, going to college in England because I couldn't be without my babies. So that's what this is supposed to be. What about like, Basil? He still with us? Oh yeah, he's still there. Okay, great. Of course, yeah. Baz is totally there with us. So yeah, you can so hang out the cow. Yeah, you like the cow. Uh huh. And chickens? I don't think if we have chickens. We didn't have chickens. Well, you see at the end here. We're adding yeah. a bridge right now uh -huh. over this like little. So river. I wanted it to start like with a little pond because I thought having like a nice little stream, little pond mm -hmm. running through the land would be really cool. And what uh, kind of bugs me about like the lots though is that. Like, you can't have it flow off the edges of the lot. You like, can't have it go beyond the... Yeah. yeah. Now, just so everyone knows that my wife doesn't actually play The Sims. Yeah, so yeah, that's, or a, that's a good... video games uh -huh. like, in general. I like to watch people play them. <laughs> yeah, so... And so, so what I'm doing right now is I'm telling Doc what to do, and yeah. he's just doing it. I'm the one building, and she's just saying, telling me what she wants. Because, honestly, a lot of it was just like... Can I do this? And I'm like, no, no you can't. You can't no. do that. <laughs> but we did it a lot. We did able to do a lot. What uh, what we could, what she wanted. Uh -huh. So no, yeah, it does actually turned out like really, really cute, and I really like it. But so we started with that pond, then I made a little bridge going across of it, and we have rocks on one end, so it kind of looks like it's like an ending area there. And then we thought we'd leave landscaping till later, and we started working on the actual house itself. And so we started with, I wanted to have like kind of a bigger living area and then like a studio off to the side with a, a conservatory in the back. And so yeah. we started with like building just like the basic kind of bones, like the um, the shape of the house. And then we started to do... Um, well, now I don't know. We're doing the roofing right now. Yeah, roofing. Uh-huh. And then so I you wanted... You like these little critters on top here? I do like the critters, but I didn't like them in this spot. But I thought they were kind of cute. But I like the thatch roof. Thatch roofs is like big on the show that I watched Escape mm -hmm. to the Country. And it's just like so quintessential like English countryside. So I thought definitely thatch. To have to have a thatch roof. And I like the little decorative um, parts that they put on there. And then I wanted to have like those little um, like curved window areas like across the top of the yeah, ceiling. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah, added yeah. those in too. And then since it's, you know, my cottagey home, we have like the fox chasing the rabbit. But I only wanted it on the little... Part, that's going to be my studio part off to the side over here. Right. So we did that. And in the back there, now that's going to be, what is that going to be? The back is the conservatory. Mm -hmm. So like where there's like, um, it's like going to be all glass all the way around. And that would be just like, like a greenhouse. Kind of like a greenhouse, but it's not for plants. It's just where you kind of go and relax at the end of the day and kick gotcha. up your feet and kind of hang out. Yeah, and then yeah. we're playing with different ways to have um, uh, the opening. I still wanted it thatched, but I didn't want it to be like too like boxy looking. And so... We're playing around with that, mm -hmm. um, and I thought it looked pretty good. Yeah, and so a little bit of um, like path and pathway, and a little bit of landscaping. I wanted to try to like, have a little bit of curves a and stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I basically had to show him like on the screen, like draw it like this, and then yeah, that's yeah, yeah, how we yeah, did yeah. it. <laughs> so we got a path laid in there, um, and then we started working on the conservatory, and I wanted it to be like all glass, like glass all the way around, glass roof. Mm -hmm. glass um walls all the way around and then i fiddled with like what type of 
like glass. I yeah, a lot of this was like me going through every single object, saying like, "How about this? How about this? How about this?" Yeah. Then <laughs> we started working on the facade of the house, mm -hmm. so I, and I wanted it kind of like stone. I wanted like there to be a separation from like the bottom half to the top half of the house, and I wanted it to be like stone, kind of on the bottom, that kind of old like brick look, and then like um like stucco or plaster on on the top part. So we're trying to kind of work through different textures and things for that i really like that kind of limestone look that kind of nice um light colored limestone mm -hmm. look on that and then going for like a stucco yeah. kind of look i like the light on top and then the brick on the bottom kind mm -hmm. of look to it i really like how the roof is turning out so far the mm -hmm. little bumpy bits there yeah and the chimneys oh i love those chimneys mm -hmm. those chimneys are so cute that's from cottage living isn't it that those ones are yes yeah, those are super yeah cute. those ones what's uh what's Part your favorite thing one? about the show about the show? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. I just really like I like seeing all the different places. Is that it they the go attractive to. realtors? <laughs> there Is are that... a couple attractive realtors. Uh -huh. No, but I really like seeing like the different styles of the houses. I love the old um uh um like beam work that's inside, like the exposed beams and like the look of the the cottages and the area that it's in. I really want to like I want to take my kids to a spot where I can be like, hey, let's go on an adventure. Right. And like, let's go learn about some history. Like, visit all the ex historic places. Like, I don't. Know, you're telling me stories about like when you were a kid, you walked by a castle on your way to the, the ruins of a castle on your way to school. Like, that's yeah. just so cool to me. So I like that. I love the history part of it. But you know, I'm a history buff, so we both like history a lot. Um, so that's really cool to me. And then like, uh, seeing the different like architectural styles in different parts of the country around too, because they're mostly in um, Cornwall, Devon. They go into those places a lot. Those counties, and then you know, like I feel like yeah. you know more about English uh, like the areas than I do. Because, I probably do at this point <laughs> because you watch this show so much. She's like, oh yeah, I like to live in Devon or Cor I'm like I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> I really want to live in probably Cheshire or Shropshire. Yeah, yeah. So or if, maybe the if East. If in those areas, let us know. <laughs> You're right. It is cool to live in those areas. <laughs> yeah, if the internet is good. <laughs> now right. we're kind of dividing it up into spaces. So, um, like the the. Top level will be like bedrooms and stuff, and then um, bottom level kitchen, diner, living room, mm -hmm. my studio, of course. Yeah. And the conservatory, because I'm, I'm still gonna make art. I get I the bathroom, to... so yeah. that's what I'm kind of. No, you get that little utility room. Oh, uh, okay. Room. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's cool. Space, right. I'll maybe let you live in the. Mm -hmm. So we played around with the stairs a bunch and having like those, because I like that um that cottage kind of um railing. That's going up the stairs. Yeah. Because that's out on the, um, in the, I liked how it was out front on the, the bridge. Yeah. And I wanted to bring that inside. So then we decided, well, we got to put doors on things. You got to be able to get into areas. Mm -hmm. Here we're playing with different ways to, like, um, get into the rooms. And I wanted it kind of open, but not like completely open plan, like fl completely flowing into things. So Doc had this cool idea of having, like, the bar go across the top and some columns to kind of open it up, but still have the walls that partition yeah, yeah. it too, which is pretty neat. I think. I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, and I'm very much into like that old um like wood look. So I want everything to like like the window sills and you're gonna see a lot of like wood colored tones to things because that I like that natural natural wood look. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, wood's uh, cool. Yeah, wood's cool. That's gonna be a theme kind of throughout the thing too. What wood being cool? Yeah. So and there's a little nook around the corner where you can put a chair. My for... reading nook, yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got to have a reading nook on every level. Mm -hmm. like, every uh -huh. room needs some kind of reading nook. Yeah, if you watched my last build with Doc, I made a treehouse, and the treehouse had like I think five or six different reading yeah. nooks in it, or something yeah, that's what like you that. Think of when you think of reading uh, treehouses, <laughs> tree house, is reading, reading nook. nooks. You don't think of that? <laughs> I, I don't know. I think of like Swiss Family Robinson, and then like. <laughs> I don't know, convey about sticking water up to the top of it and <laughs> monkey butlers. <laughs> and a reading nook. And a reading nook. <laughs> Here we go for every single couch in the game. <laughs> I think I have a clear vision and then I then I really I really don't. But I have a fireplace on each end, underneath the, the chimneys, of course. Mm -hmm. And then here Sweet like, TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on a crate. <laughs> so I got those chairs. Those are from Cottage Living. I like those chairs, but I didn't like where they're at. You didn't like that kind of... sofa, though. No, I didn't really. I was not really a fan of that sofa too much. Yeah. But now the chairs are over there by the front windows. You can see out. You can read in yes. on them. Uh huh. Looking through the different swatches. Right. I like the stripes better. I think that's just a little bit more me than the the paisley floral 
Yeah, the flowery one. Yeah, a little bit too granny for me, maybe. And I love that parquet floor, though, that parquet floor. So we well. raise it up a little bit, so a little bit of a platform there, make it kind of a little divide, which I thought would look kind of cool. I thought that was really neat, too. So we keep, like, the parquet floor in the living room, and I think we do the parquet floor in the oh, kitchen, too. Oh, that wallpaper. <laughs> Not, Not a fan. really a fan of the wallpaper. You like, I like cottages I like in the, England. They don't have a lot of wallpaper. At least on the show I watch, there's not a lot of wallpaper. Okay. They do have the wood paneling, which I like, though. I like the half panel, like, or lower third of the wall panel, okay. and then a solid color. Like, okay. That's just, to me, a little bit more. Because, again, I like the art and, like, what you put on the walls to be a little bit more of the focus than the actual... Wallpaper? Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Like, the houses I lived in when I was a kid um, had a lot of wallpaper, in it, and I remember just um, when we were remodeling them, like just taking down wallpaper, and it was just exhausting. And like, oh, and my parents had us all help, and it was just, oh. It was it like layers of layers of? Different yes, like well, the one house, our very like first house. I remember while um, helping my parents remodel, there were three layers of wallpaper <laughs> in the dining room. It was ridiculous, and like you'd pull off a layer, and you'd see the next one. You pull off a layer, and you see the next. Was one. Like, a kid down, room layer, was like a kid room layer, like a kid These rooms be different functions. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were mostly all floral prints, but yeah, it was still, yeah. <laughs> so I think we raised this floor up too, didn't we? Yeah, we raised this one up a little bit as well. Now this is going to be the dining room right here. Yeah. Adding a rug there. And I really, again, I really like that parquet look to the floor. It's really nice. And I don't want to cover it completely. So we're just like trying out all the different rugs. Like <laughs> That's a bathroom rug. <laughs> Well, I can't tell when I'm like pointing to the ones like, oh, try this one. And then he puts it out and they're like, oh, yeah, that's like, no. <laughs> try that one. Oh, okay, yeah, that's meant for exteriors. Okay, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, here we're playing with like different what we wanted the walls to look like. I think mm -hmm. I wanted it to stay like with the um, limestone. I really like that from like the bottom half of the house. And I thought that would look really nice. Um, Could the accent the... wall? Yep, on the wall. So like the accent wall is just in the... Dining area there, the dining room there. The green's done. Did we go with the green? I can't I think remember. I we stuck with the green. Yeah, yeah I like the green. Oh, or did maybe, we? Maybe we didn't. Maybe we did the green. I don't remember. Who knows what we did? <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned and you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> We're discovering it together. Oh, and I like that you had that really good idea of putting in those um, uh, columns. Yeah, In yeah. the corners to add more of that wood look. And I really like that. This was, was it... meant to be a, like a utility closet oh, yeah, where I wanted you... to put in like washing machine and dryer and yeah. like a sink in there but like we didn't have access to that stuff we could, we could do it later when the pack those we have access to those packs but right now yeah only have so we access. just made it a pantry and so we used that kind of cool looking that was from cottage living right that gardening yeah like, what is table that thing? Gardening table, yeah and then we just put some shelves in there um as if it's just kind of like a little a pantry I don't know what this area. room is. It was supposed to be a utility <laughs> closet. It's supposed to be where I do the it's washing. It's a room with a bunch of <laughs> shelves on it. So now it's a storage area. Okay. It's like a pantry. It's our baked bean storage area. Baked beans and bangers and mash. Isn't that new in the game pack? You get like bangers yeah, and mash. Yeah, I think you can get that. Yeah. Shepherd's pie, oh. right? And what else was there? Any uh, other? Anything Yorkshire pudding. Ooh. Yeah. Anything else that's quintessentially English? There's other things. Scones. Yes. Or I'm not saying that right. You say sconce. I do. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the bathroom here. The downstairs bathroom. Yes. You got a bath in here and you uh -huh. want a shower as well. A it's, a full, it's a full one. Uh-huh. I think we don't keep this shower in here because we couldn't get it to fit. <laughs> you want the toddler toilet? <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I like that huge window right between right. the shower and the bathtub. We moved the shower upstairs. That's right, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is just a, well, you could still consider it a full bath because it's got a bathtub in there. And there, yeah, you moved the, the bathtub in front of the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, neighbors! Oh, my gosh, what's going on over there? <laughs> now we're going into my studio. Sweet. This is where the art happens. Right. Yes. The, the magic. Yeah, where I get to... Finally, now that the kids Read have gone in off, a nook. kids have gone off to college, I can make some art of my yeah, own. Yeah, sure. For once now. Oh, that chair though. Yeah. Furniture <laughs> to the I got studio. Sixty-minute situation here. We're interviewing <laughs> Inter each other. Yeah. Sit and stare at each other all day. <laughs> I'm romantic. <laughs> right? Why have the kids left us? <laughs> we don't know what to say to each other anymore. So no, they're angled now. Right. Turn towards each other. And what about and the, then oh, I wanted like a like coffee that? table 
the one between them, but all the coffee tables were too high. Mm -hmm. They were just like too high. So I think we ended up putting something else in there. Like, go, I have to have my easel, mm -hmm. obviously, if I'm going to make art. Yeah. And then I need a table to keep all my art supplies on. All your stuff on, yeah. All my stuff. And then, I, again, I like that kind of wood, natural kind of look. So I think at some point that. you were going to put a, a desk in here for me, but then we just ran out of space. And yeah. so that was just the end of it. Yeah, your desk was going to go on that wall right over there that's empty right now. Right. Then I then ended up filling with something yeah. else later. So, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I think I put right. a bookcase or something there. <laughs> 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 You can still move your desk in. I can still move things around. I'll set that chair use my laptop. How's that? Um... That sounds good. That'll work, right? And so the conservatory is just all glass walls. And so the lighting is really bright. Yeah. And I'm sure it's really hot in this room, too. Yeah. Which is great to put, like, leather chairs in there. <laughs> <laughs> your legs just stick to them. Oh. <laughs> so I think I set this whole thing up with everything matching. Yeah. And, and then realized like that I didn't like it all matching. Like, and then had to have you change it because... It's too matchy, matchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some chair in the corner for extra seating when we have all of our kids come visit yeah, us. Yeah, friends come over. Yeah, all and the friends. And Margaret next door comes over. Margaret! Okay, now I'm moving up to the top level. That There, this is the only space that I let you have the wallpaper. Yes! In sweet. my hallway slash reading nook. No, the reading nook at the end there. Only one chair because I'm only allowed to read there. Yeah, so it's the only room that you allow me to use the wallpaper, but you're the only one allowed to use this room. <laughs> uh-huh. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, I forgot to put a door into the into places on this. Oh, we got to add some doors. Yeah. Got to be able to go in. So we put flooring on in the rooms. Again, I like that parquet flooring in the, the bedrooms. And then tile, mm -hmm. but a different kind of tile for the bathroom here. And then the big room, of course, is the master bedroom. Yeah, we're trying then, to fit this bed here. Then I'm like, why don't I just move the door? Because right? the door can move. Because why not? Because we couldn't get the bed to line up. Right? <laughs> like, like the, what, the door does not need to be there. So uh -huh. I put it there. It makes more sense. That Walking. way the bed can be more kind of centered in the wall. Mm -hmm. Big rugs, of course. Yeah, let's cover up all that nice floor then. Oh, you can still see it. <laughs> you wouldn't want, like, do you want to get, when you get out of bed, put your feet down on cold hardwood floor? Uh, I mean, no, I guess. Right? So you need a rug. And then this one, I thought this room might keep it a little bit more cottagey with the bedspread and kind of florals on the floor and um, that kind of look to things a little bit more cottagey. Right. Right. And then the master's a little bit more, like, I wouldn't say contemporary, not modern either, but a little less cottagey. I like how all these windows are open. You notice that? Oh, no. I didn't notice Every that until window. now. <laughs> Every window has... We're letting a nice breeze into the yeah. room. <laughs> I thought, oh, we'll have a mirror, but why have a mirror? Because the vanity already has a mirror. So I think we ended up taking that out. Right. We have to have nightstands. Well, the thing I don't like is that they're so very tall. I wish they weren't as tall. I wish yeah. they were a little bit lower. Like, or a little bit skinnier, maybe. Like, just a smaller block than what they are. So we actually go back through the whole thing again and actually decorate with, like, knickknacks and stuff. Like, this is mm -hmm. all just... The basic furniture, the wallpaper, and the flooring. flooring. And then we go back through the house again with all the details. And then we go back through the house again <laughs> with all the lighting. Yeah. And then we do the Well, outside. at one point, you started showing me stuff that I didn't even know was in there anymore. And I was like, whoa, where did this all, where was all this well, stuff at I when I started decorating you, things? I seemed you knew all the items in the game. No, 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 no. I was, no, show, no, no. I was showing you the country living stuff. And I forgot to show you, like, what's in base game. And there's actually a lot of cool stuff in just base game as yeah. well. So. so halfway through this, I realized that I could have other things, too. Mm -hmm. So I had to go to add that stuff back in, too. This is the ensuite bathroom. Right. Shower. So it has the actual shower. It has a tub as well, too. Got some cupboards there. Got to have the right colored towels. Can't, you know, mismatch. Right. Uh-huh. I guess. Ugh. I, I wish that the, again... The sinks weren't as high, too, because it covers the window a little bit, which kind of well, bothers we me. Well, we could have but... made the windows higher, but... No, then it would have been centered right on the back of the wall. Right. And that would have driven me probably more insane. Yeah. So this is my closet. Your walk-in closet. Uh-huh. Yeah. A little rack for my shoes and bins for storage. And I think you eventually remember that there's, like, clothes. Yeah, yeah. We put the clothes on the wall as well. Mm-hmm. I think that came later because that's before I you knew. forgot about it. Now we're going back and decorating all the house, all the knickknacks and stuff. 
And Cottage Living has some really kind of cute little kitschy kind of things. We got to put Yoda in there. I like Yoda. We got to put Yoda. in my studio. I thought this would be kind of cool too, but then I realized you're going to bang your head on these uh, pots yeah. and bags. But we did put them on the wall, though. We got, no, we got yeah, there is a wall one. Yeah, there's a wall like one. Like copper colored um, wall ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to have a rack to put your hats and your coats on. There's the on. wall one, man. And Maybe. bronze, of course, because I want it to like kind of look aged and all the time. Oh, that's when we found the clothing. Mm -hmm. Here we are going through and finding the things that you knew we were got there that I didn't know we were got there. To and eventually. I was like, what are, what's this? Where's all this stuff coming from? Where's all these cool things when I wanted to find stuff? We were working was... on furniture first. I didn't oh, want to. Yeah. I didn't uh -huh. want to get you too uh -huh. too much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. overwhelm you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, I wanted oh. you wanted to put a Jerry there, and I didn't let you. Oh. And gnomes, gotta have some cute little gnomes around, some different art. And I wanted it all to kind of match a theme, so I wasn't very much into like the jazzy cats or anything yeah. like that. I wanted it to kind of be or the sad clowns, or the sad clowns, yeah. no, or the Jerry's. Okay. Not oh. very much into those. I did let you have a Jerry. We do have a Jerry. We have one Jerry. Uh huh. I think he's in the bathroom, isn't he? <laughs> he put him in the bathroom. <laughs> I relegated him to the bathroom. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, well, we forgot time. that we didn't have a TV, so we had to add, add yeah. a TV to the to the whole space. This this, this living room actually looks a lot like my parents' living room. Do you know what I like. I was thinking that at the end, I was thinking that I was like, you oh my basically gosh, basically recreated my parents' living room. A little bit like it. A little. <laughs> bit. I mean, not even a little bit. Kind of exactly it's like not, it. It's not exactly <laughs> like it. They have, they have more seating. Than I think we currently have. Yeah, yeah. It's but it's, it's very close. Yeah, yeah. The Except your cool. parents' living room doesn't go into the bathroom. It goes into their conservatory. Well, yeah, I guess that is kind of a whittle thing. <laughs> <laughs> to go right into the bathroom. <laughs> hey, we have, we have to have a bathroom in there. We have a bathtub in there. What was it? You're watching TV and come <laughs> out. Um, I forgot a towel. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be funny. Be There's no funny. toilet paper in here. Could you get some more? I'm in the middle of my program. There's your artwork that you've been working on. That's yeah, nice. Yeah, and we added some art supplies to the table too. And then like all like I like to collect toys just as much as Doc does. So mm. my my walls and stuff are all scattered with the apple random and the pear stuff. picture there. No, you wanted that. Yeah, <laughs> I left it there too. <laughs> It's all kind of just scattered with random toys and things and stuff and things, stuff and things and things and stuff. There we go. That was pretty good with all the little toys there and the creepy hand in the corner. It looks cool. That's not a creepy hand. That's like, like a hand oh, that it's, yeah, you it's, draw, you know? <laughs> Hands are hard to draw. Sometimes you need a model. Still, it's kind of so creepy. Then I'm starting though. to add art to the walls. And I like that poster because it reminded me of like kind of, I, I want to be a children's book illustrator when I grow up. So... Like that kind of reminded me of of that kind of style right. of things, and then the rest of the art has to be a little bit more. True what about pears? House. Lots of pears, lots of apples, and <laughs> I think you went through the stuff. catalog of photos like five times. Oh, at least, filled. and then I still couldn't remember what was there and what wasn't there, and which <laughs> I should use and which I shouldn't use. Like, what goes here? What goes there? I want something big. I don't remember what goes there. What should we put there? Oh, this is where you're trying to show me stuff finally that I didn't know existed. To be fair, I didn't know it existed either, so... So we had to go back and kind of like, oh, look, oh, I want to put this here. Oh, I want to add that there. Mm -hmm. So we're adding, like, little things back into spots because didn't know that they existed before. Oh, here's your Jerry. Yeah, I lied. Oh, yeah, there's, like, pictures of, like, artwork that I figured would make sense in this room. <laughs> in an art studio, you yeah. mean? Yeah. Jerry next to a landscape painting. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it works. I think that was like a coral kind of thing. That works in a bathroom, right? Under the sea. So that's all decorated downstairs. I think we, we're we done with that. Let me go upstairs and do this area decorated. Mm -hmm. I'm to put a little picture above the stairs here. Something nice to look at when you're going downstairs or you're coming back up. Not a Jerry. Not another Jerry. <laughs> little sad clown. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Or the male and female bathroom signs. <laughs> or the ghost coming out of the toilet. Oh, I love this bit. Hang oh, on. Yeah. <laughs> you show this. <laughs> That's cute, right? Super cute. <laughs> <laughs> the little bunnies diving into the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Although then when you did that, I liked them. Yeah. So he... I kept that kind of theme, but that was not going to let you put them on the bottom. <laughs> Scale them down a little bit like they're hopping across. Yeah, the, that's cute. See? My area. silly ideas sometimes work out. Sometimes. 
No, no. And then you wanted him to sit on the door. I didn't want him to sit directly on the door. And here's where we're starting to see, like, lighting. Like, oh, you're like, oh. There's some, well, we can add some lighting. Like, light, where was all this well, stuff? Well, I was going to get to lighting later because I figured we'd, like, have it brightly lit. That way we can, do, we can see what we're doing. And then we'll go back with the kind of more, you know, nice lighting. I guess. But well, then I had to take some stuff out that I put in. Yeah, that was my as bad, I guess. Decoration for adding that lighting, but that's okay. It was easy fixes and kind of becomes less repetitive, I guess, for the decoration stuff. There's some really cool new lights, the kind of hanging lantern kind of look of those, and those yeah, kind of yeah. older light lighting fixtures. Those are really pretty. I really, really like those a lot. So finally, getting to the decorating the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. Get some art in there. And then it has that kind of that feature wall, like accent color wall, and the rest is kind of the a muted gray color. Right. Some little mood lighting there. And I like those um, those on the wall there with the little jars. The plant, those are lights as well. Those are, like, super cool, too. But we got to add the knickknacks and stuff. Got to have an alarm clock. Got to have some a hay bale. Books, right? A hay bale, for <laughs> sure. I was thinking about having, like, you know, something at the end of the bed, but it just didn't work out. So I think we ended up not having... Not having that, but adding some things to the vanity, a little cute little rabbit, and then some spy <laughs> material. Yeah, I think you're rubbing about it stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. You don't like that one. No. Chicken. I think I kept the chicken, but not the duck. You think, you're, yeah, you're, you're all about that duck, and the yeah. duck just does not. What's wrong no. with the duck? <laughs> it's like a stuffed duck. I don't want a dead stuffed <laughs> duck in my bedroom. Okay. Oh, it looks sweet. A little porcelain chicken. Now that's that's okay. That's cute. I like that. Not the your pet your the... grandparents has a bunch of like stuff animals. Oh, in like their they have well, like a, a room that's just full of it. Like they have these two squirrels. Yeah. They have these two dead squirrels. And they're on the wall and they're facing each other. Uh -huh. and, and they look like they're almost their hands are together like they're praying and mm. they're facing each other. And they're looking at a clock. <laughs> they're looking at a digital alarm clock that's <laughs> sitting in between them. It's so they're praying freaky. to this little <laughs> alarm clock. I don't know. Super and that's their bedroom. Have you ever gone to their guest room upstairs I that has the I've... big saws? They got these oh, no, gigantic I have. Yeah. saws, like like old timey, like they threshing decorated... the wheat saws. Like they they're decorated on the, wall. the room with saws, and they these saws are right above the bed. So when you're sleeping, the last thing you see is this giant saw <laughs> above your head. Our other rooms have stuffed turkeys and pheasants and deer uh -huh. imagine being like an eight-year-old kid sleeping in those rooms <laughs> at night and these did things. you think they would come alive in toys like toy story and like hang out with you and stuff not or? hang out with me i thought they'd come alive and kill me <laughs> 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 it was frightening <laughs> oh that's i so used, cute, used to tell my grandma like keep the tv on for a while after i go to bed so i don't have to <laughs> Think about these things coming to life and killing me. <laughs> and now you put them in your imaginary bedroom. There's no dead things hanging here. That's oh. why I didn't let you have that duck. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see. There's a whole uh -huh. thing there. The piggy. The ceramic piggy. You're the piggy say. there. The pig bank. <laughs> a bunch of money down there. <laughs> <laughs> Stashed underneath the guest bed. Yeah. Now we have to go back to the first floor to add lighting to the first floor. More right. Kind of. Ambiance. Ambiance. Some ambiance lighting. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bit more of a country cottage feel right. to it. That is what we're going with. Yes, that is our that is our theme. So we had to take out the big, what it was just, just regular block yeah, lights just or like, something. Yeah. And then add in the actual pretty lights. Again, I really like the lighting that they added from Cottage Living. I guess I, I don't know the lighting from other packs, but I really enjoy this because that's kind of my style. You like cottage stuff i do i'm very so... much into into that i'm looking at places we can start to move to oh, oh yeah so, na so now we're doing the exterior here and i really wanted it to have that like look that the house had been here for a long time that's another really cool thing that i like about the show is they they show them some sometimes they show people houses that were built in like 1500s 1600s yeah. there's so much history there and that just it it's really cool to me to think about how many lives and how many generations have lived in that house before you. Well, some of them are not even houses; they're like barnyards. Yeah, they? or like like they're converted barns. They're converted sometimes chapels or old churches that are no longer used as churches anymore. So I, we I like the vines going up and having that. I think it's called wisteria, that purple flower that kind of is growing up the sides of things and kind of going across the. I thought that was hops. Architecture. Yeah, you thought there were hops. Well, because. Wait, because if you go that's to like a pub, yeah, but if you go to a pub, you have like 
hops kind of hanging yes, around. Yes, they usually have that hanging. Like, from it the, looks like that. Uh-huh. So I figured they they didn't want to put actual hops in there, but like I don't think hops are purple. I think it's called wisteria. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. But we added those because again, I really like that that aged look. Like it's been there for a couple hundred years, and these plants are just kind of mm-hmm. slowly kind of regrowing on things, and then. And I don't like symmetry a lot when it comes to like that. So that's why you're not going to see like one side of it growing the exact same way as the other side. I like that being very asymmetrical when it's organic like that. And then we added my favorite type of tree, like kind of it reminds me of a favorite type of tree. I love weeping willows. Yeah. Um. So we have that hanging over the lovely lavender. pond. And lavender. I have to have lots of lovely lavender in there. Lavender smells so good looks so pretty too and it's like natural growing it grows really easy and it's very low maintenance which i need because i can't make green things grow very well i tend to which kill is surprising because you made the whole things. house made a, lot, a bunch of plants is in there so I i'm probably gonna kill them all oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to hire a lady to come in and water the plants okay, for us on okay. the regular like schedule that in the lily pads that was super cute the alligator no nope, no nope, okay. i decided no for an alligator okay. but swans yes because swans are very much in england and then Koi, or some fish too, and frogs and turtles. You said I could have frogs and turtles and yep, ducks. On the logs, yeah. Uh huh. Got to do a little bit of landscaping up front too. Just a little bit of pretty flowers there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, we got to have a cow. Yes. So we made space in the back <laughs> for a cow. For a cow. Yeah. Uh huh. What's the cow's name? I don't know. What should we name the cow? Nancy Moo. Uh huh. <laughs> no? Uh, That's what my cow's called on my let's play. Oh, well then it can't be the same cow. Oh, okay. This is my house. Okay, what are you, well, then what are you going to call it then? Mm, Tabitha. Tabitha the cow? It's like no, a cat that, name. that is a cat name, isn't it? <laughs> Bessie. Okay, that is. Bessie the cow. That is a very cow name. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're pretty much wrapping up here. Yeah. There it is. What do you There's think? There's my cottage. My perfect dream cottage. Again. After the kids have gone to college. Because right. my real one that I'm going to move to soon in England will have to have at least five uh, bedrooms. What? And a studio space for you. Looks very nice. I like it a lot. Well, there you go. I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks, uh, wife, for hanging out with me. Thanks for doing a build with me. This was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. If you guys want to see more builds with us, let us know in the comments below. And if you like this, hit the like button. And uh, if you're new, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Till next time, bye-bye.